<laughs> in the next hour, we're going to have a conversation about business and doing business uh, in the country around this period of uh, the electioneering period and now post-electioneering period. And looking at Samsung and the new phones that they rolled out in the market globally just a couple of weeks ago. But before we introduce our guest, I have the day's proverb. It's an ancient Egyptian proverb. It's Friday, mm -hmm. the 16th day of September, the day after Bay Mafuta did like that. Mm. And the cost of uh, Unga has not I come like down. I do like that. Yeah, so things are just changing. But now, if you're thinking about fair, take fair from him who is wealthy and let pass him who is poor. Mm. <laughs> it's Egyptian, not a Kenyan proverb it's an Egyptian the proverb the Egyptians have validated yeah. many things that people have been saying for the last I don't know how long and it, this is an ancient one validated in the president in the present yes wow take fair from him who is wealthy and let pass him who is poor and just for purposes of clarification the fair that we're talking about is F-A-R-E mm. okay. it's not fairness no mm -mm. Mm. No, it's, uh, it's that fair. Yes. We have a guest in the studio with us, Charles Kimari. Charles is the director of Mobile Experience Division at Samsung Electronics East Africa. Good morning, Charles. Hey, good morning. Good to have you again. And it's been what, three years since the last time you were here? <laughs> <laughs> two, two years, okay. three months. There you go. So COVID two, took away your... Two years, three months. He's, he's, yeah, he's even going to, down, he's going to go down into, into the day. Two years, three months, and four days. Four days, yes. 15 hours. And so no symptoms of long COVID. Yeah, for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That, that's what happens when you have a good Samsung phone. It reminds you things. It just did that, actually. Ah. Yeah. Good to have you again here, Charles. Right, good. Karibu sana. Asante sana. You were here just a couple of days ago, and we talked about it, but you were not in the studio. We had a conversation with Jimmy Garth, who was hosting the event that uh, was beamed globally. And uh, we also hosted it here on KTN Home. We were streaming it on our platforms. Uh, we had an event right here at uh, on our second floor of the Standard Group Center. Global launch of the new two new phones, the Flip and the Fold. How was it? That event was called Global Unpacking. Yes. Mm. And uh, we always do Global Unpacking um, anytime we have... We are doing a flagship launch, mm -hmm. which we always do twice a year. And then February for the S-Series mm -hmm. and of course for the foldables in uh, August. So the August uh, Fold 4 and the Flip 4, they really improved advanced versions of the previous uh, Fold 3 and Flip 3. I must admit that... Um, we closed all our pre-orders way at least three days in advance. We actually met the entire quantity that was supposed to have been met three days in advance before the closing of the pre-order. Good grief. <laughs> this event took place a day after the elections. Yeah. Yes, right? correct. This was on the 10th, 10th of, of August. August. Right. And you're saying before, between the 7th, uh, by the 7th, you had already close the pre-orders no it, it was uh it took place uh on the the day after the elections mm. that's 10th yes 11th and um it we we unpacked from we began our pre-orders in kenya mm -hmm. on the subsequent uh monday mm. um of which was supposed to go for two weeks but on the 14th uh on the 10th day we had already swept the slate clean Good on the pre-orders. Okay, so of course then the question is then how, how did this happen? Because the rest of the world was, okay, and the world being Kenya, uh, at that point was saying, okay, hold on, we don't know what's going to happen, we're going to an election, the period is kind of shaky, you don't know what's going to happen. So people were holding on to their money, people were holding on to their decisions in terms of investments. But then here you are telling us, that you were able to, you know, close on orders three days in advance of time, um, you know, and say, and not because there was no movement, but the thing had been chock full, I can assume. 
And that's the thing. Mm. We always tend to look at the, everybody tended to look at it from the negative point of view mm -hmm. with the elections. Let's, let's, let's face the reality of it. Samsung has already created a very strong farm base of its uh, customer consumers mm -hmm. on the propositions of the foldables that it's been bringing in for the last four years. Mm -hmm. This is Fold 4. And uh, Fold 4 is a continuous improvement of the previous device. The Note uh, was faded out of the market mm. and it was taken up by, by the foldables and also part of the S series. The new foldable comes up with a S, S Pen experience, mm -hmm. mm. which appeals also to the Note team, to the Note fan base. Mm -hmm. So over the period, um, there's been this thirst and urge for the latest device in terms of the foldable and fold four really came out with very fantastic reviews mm -hmm. globally mm -hmm. on the same so the the urge and the thirst was there it's just that they needed to be somebody to harness and tap into it mm -hmm. and deliver the right product to the consumer mm -hmm. so this happened uh, we invested very heavily on the media and thanks to the spice fm standard group fantastic you came through for us on this one actually we did the launch in your studios mm -hmm. yep. we did the launch in the studios here mm -hmm. And uh, I must say the traction, the, the, the traction together with the election was just, it was, a ma it was magic. Mm -hmm. Everybody was on TV, everybody was on air, everybody was on Twitter, everybody was on their uh, Instagram, and all this was being streamed live on the same. Mm -hmm. So the traction and the awareness created was quite heavy on the same. So I must say that we not only achieved our target, mm -hmm. but it was 1.5 times more than the full three. Mm. Sales. Right. So the, the, the demand is there and the pool of funds is there. Mm. Let's talk about this consumer. Who's this consumer who is going for, you know, the latest advanced technological advancements in mobile phone? What what kind of consumer are we talking about? And and what then would you say is the profile of the consumer? Because what are we talking about? The 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 fold four, how much is it going for? That's two sixty five thousand shillings. How much was the three going for? Uh, that was a uh, two fifty two thousand shillings. Right, right. And then the flip, uh, the flip is going for one forty two thousand triple nine. Mm. Uh, previous time it was one thirty eight. This is the highest end of the Samsung range. Correct. But then you have other ranges in the market. Right. Going all the way to what's the the most uh, affordable? That is the S twenty two. We have all the way down <coughs> up to an eleven thousand shillings phone, yep. which is our A zero three core. And at times you can get it at uh, 9,000 or 10,000 shillings. And that we are getting customers who are going for all these smartphones. Correct. Because all of them are smartphones. Right. And people even just improving from if I had this one the last time, um, after some time, I'm going to upgrade and go into a higher phone. Mm -hmm. So what? how would you describe the profile of this consumer in, in the market? Um, Kenya is a very diverse market. Mm. The, 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 to place the finger on the pulse, you need... It, it, you need to segment the market properly so that you get the right beat for each particular category of, of the market. Mm. Uh, for the foldables, we have defined, not Samsung has defined the market. We have put the product out there and observed consumer behavior. Mm -hmm. And then from this, we have defined where to place our reach into. When you look at the foldable, it defines a, pers a persona. It's, it's a 265,000 shillings product right mm. so it's not your everyday uh, cup of tea mm. this is this is the top grade yeah it is the niche of the product so what you what we have done is we have identified the capability of this particular device and placed it together with the character of the consumer on mm. the same mm. this is a whole whole office mm. this is a full businessman's device this is a whole qs architect kind of on the go product mm. you sign you sign documents you sign architectural drawings you pdf them and send them straight on from the phone to the client mm. and the client approves on it immediately you actually get to take notes for yourself in meetings mm. change them into word pdf them mm -hmm. and send them to your email or to your customers you don't need to go back to a laptop right it's so yeah so charles what we're saying essentially is that today's 
business person, right. today's, I mean, and uh, across board, today's social media person, today's entrepreneur that needs, you know, to be on the go, today's even perfect corporate professional who normally would be stuck behind a desk in order to get something done, then is able to have everything that they need, you know, in this device and that rather these this new technology or this continuing technology is basically pandering to the needs of your professional on the go your professional seated your professional who's traveling correct and and, and the iron is this as much as we, we had, we're trying to call it professionals on the go mm. you should see the number of entrepreneurs that have this device mm. Mm. they are the on the go mm. you get stuck behind the desk it's not the main part of it you are doing work on the go. Yeah. You're in the field. You're, you're on holiday. You're the de business development uh, manager of your organization. You're the salesperson. You're the right. PR person. You're everything. So you're constantly on the move. You're constantly on the move. You need to make approvals. You need to sign off documents. You need to do everything else. Mm. The fold is the way to go. Then you come to the fantastic, lovely device called the, f the flip. Mm. You know? Um, give me that. Give me that. Let me give you this. Mm -hmm. So you, this one, this this is the flip. Right. No, you can take the fold. I, I, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and and ideally, mm -hmm. um, we we had a bad start, uh, maybe with the f uh, flip one at that time, mm -hmm. uh, because we were just getting into the uh, play on the same, and uh, we got a bit of backlash uh, globally mm -hmm. on the robustness of the device. Now. Mm -hmm. After fall two, hmm. fall flip three, I think we've got it right. This this device right now is it's full rigor, hmm. very solid, very nice hinges, hmm. elegant finish. The bezel is very strong. The screen is super strong. The flip open shut over two hundred thousand times without even having an issue. You, if how does it feel? How does it feel? It's just, it's it's smooth hmm. why fold it why flip it why why? why fold it why flip it yeah why not that's the question you know let me tell you for the for the flip mm. this defines it defines your character mm. even by the mere fact of having it feeling it flipping it open and shutting it mm. is style in its own which phone do you carry and feel like you want to record like a camcorder mm. Mm. across? Look at the ease of it. Which phone do you place on the table without having to put papers and boxes behind it to give you a better selfie or a better interaction? Yeah. This is the device. Mm. This is it. It's style. It's niche. Look at him. Look at look what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Live streaming on Instagram mm. right here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and the... And uh, it, it, it gives that good feeling mm. that I need to have this device. Yeah. Correct. Mm. So I get the feeling of what you're saying. You know, you're holding it like a camcorder. So <laughs> as you're having your kid birthdays and mm -hmm. you're like, hey, okay. And you're just walking around with your phone like this. You don't have to necessarily walk around with the phone like yes. this. Yes. Anymore. So exactly. it goes beyond, as I hear you say, it's not just a lifestyle uh, item. There's a lifestyle side of it, mm -hmm. you know, that makes you say, you know, I've... I have the flip, okay? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Just look at me. Well, part um, of that club. But there is also mm -hmm. the how you can use it. Right. The it, you know it's 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 robust enough and it contains a lot more functionalities that makes it make sense. For somebody who has spent out that money to right. buy it. You can't just be spending this money so that you can be showing people, you know, I yeah. have exactly the kind of person that you are most likely you're hanging out with people who also have the same kind of phone so what are you showing us mm. and, and and the <laughs> beauty about the flea piece mm. is, is the convenience it comes with this drops and disappears into a pocket very easily yeah, yeah. and as some people have been saying it's a bit feminine all right forgive mm. my french mm. feminine my foot mm. i'm telling you the number of orders that have been done the, on this by Gentlemen, mm -hmm. is amazing. Are they using them? Oh, oh they, they could and have and ordered. And, 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 and <laughs> fantastic. Mm. And I can tell you one thing: the usability of this device, especially on, um, we've had, especially people in a certain lifestyle, mm -hmm. 
the usability of it we have had a lot of our of our people are always online mm. engaging a lot online doing heavy recording recording on the go mm. is quite popular on the same mm. you may ask me how many are these i can tell you from our period we segmented and we could see like uh, almost a almost 25% of it were people who actually bought it for usability purpose right all right not just not just for the show of the same mm. it's because of how easy it is to have this phone on an operational basis mm. on the same correct right. So even if I, I mean I hear what you're saying and you know looking at the lifestyle and looking at then what you're able to do uh, to do with it is is it seen as an accompaniment to enable you get your business and your work done or the go to device then for all of these is it just part of or is it the thing that allows you move from one step to the mm. next and and that's that's a fantastic question mm. because people tend to compare the fold and the flip mm. These are very two diverse products. Yeah. World apart. Whatever you want to do with the, apart from the calls and the messaging. Yeah. The rest of the character is world apart. Mm. Any phone any phone will call, any phone will will text a message. It's what you want to do beyond that mm. device mm. that defines the two products. The fold is not easily concealed. Mm. This is easily concealed. Mm. It's a bit fold is not necessarily bulky it gives you a better view you have a front screen view mm -hmm. and it gives you a tablet experience mm -hmm. yeah on the wider part yeah so it allows you to engage more on the same in terms of if it's documentation if it's emails if it's approvals that you're yeah. doing mm -hmm. now when you flip it to the other side the flip the flip allows you the convenience of a number of items that is pocketability movement portability uh convenience of the experience of the device in terms of photo mm -hmm. in terms of messaging in terms of interaction because when you place it on the same the the top part comes the a different screen and the, you can have a keypad generation on the next mm. so the two very different feels of the device on the same when you take when you're taking it down to the consumer mm -hmm. on the same right coming back to that consumer and you're saying so Samsung is developing these products after observing consumer mm -hmm. um, consumer needs, consumer trends. How exactly do you take this information? Um, so is it is it as I'm using my phone? You have seen this thing that is tracking the kind of applications I'm, I'm opening. Are you snooping on me, or are you? Do you have a, a suggestions box in your office? How do you know mm. what I want? I remember I like that part of the suggestion box. The last time I heard of it was <laughs> <laughs> haven't you been to a government office lately? <laughs> I think you should open and see whether there's something inside. That's yeah. the first thing. Uh, but uh what under the bridge? Um we we are very compliant with regards to the uh the the, the data regulation within mm. the country. Mm -hmm. That's without a doubt. We our reputation is up there. Uh we liaise a lot with CAK and uh, also the regulatory authorities mm -hmm. uh, i believe there was a bill that was passed early this year and last year regulations on data management and control yeah uh we have uh we're up to par on that regulation now how so how do we get all this data and the same we do a lot of um we contract multiple companies that are able to collect specific data of consumer behavior there's a lot of mystery shopping mm -hmm. that's done you just get into a store, stick there for one, two hours, just observe the consumer behavior. Talk to the consumer without necessarily having them understand you're from Samsung. Mm. Just to get to understand what is their feel, what they hate, what they love, what they they would like to see. Mm. Most of the one of the best feedbacks that we ever got was um, when customers say that Samsung screen repair is very expensive. Mm. Yep. When you break it, it become it's like buying you another buy new another phone. phone. So what, the, what did Samsung do? It took almost one year for them to actually come up with the right solution for it. And we said, hey, our devices are durable. Mm. The consumer is going to use it for long. So we decided that we're going to roll out a program. And from beginning of uh, mid last year, we went out on a full scope of a program called Samsung Care Plus. Mm. And Samsung Care Plus is, is a fantastic program. 
we give you one free screen repair for any accidental damage. Right. But only one for the first one year. Mm -hmm. So if you break the screen, you'll get it repaired at least for free. Mm. And that is up to maybe 99%. There are TNCs for maybe a service charge of maybe two, 3,000 shillings mm -hmm. or 1,000 shillings. But this has proven to be the best part of our product. Mm. What's the feedback uptake. on that? Awesome. And it's not just on the flagships. We said, hey. It's on any It's Samsung our phone. consumers, all the way from A13, mm. our, our entry-level device, mm. up to the fold. We will cover that free screen repair for any accidental damage mm. on the same. All you have to do is when you buy your device, yeah. register into Samsung Care Plus. That's all. The rest will pick it up from our system. Mm. Okay, let's uh, twist this question a little bit. Right. So since you launched it, you, of course, you've been observing the number of uh, people who have bought a, a, a device. And right. within a year, they've come asking you to repair mm -hmm. their screen. What would you say is the percentage of purchases that actually come back and request for that service within a year? Um, I can say we have had a jump of at least uh, 36 to 40% coming in specifically to say i have samsung care plus mm. uh, repair my device mm. then what does what does that mean what does it that means mean? yes. that people are actually dropping phones or there's things that are happening accidentally to the phone that is affecting the screen not necessarily so mm. this was happening before yes it's not that it was not happening before mm. and nobody drops a screen a phone deliberately to break it yeah, yeah. right so what is what that data just tells us is that we have we have a pool of consumers who actually are benefiting from this particular service yeah. that we are giving and we are going to be able to harness this loyalty on the consumer base for quite some time yeah because it's it's one thing to get a customer come and say in the store in the store i i have a samsung care plus please tell me i can use it because i can't afford this screen mm. it makes you feel good that you have cracked the right point mm. for that. And that the message has actually reached home Reach because exactly. people know I can come back and ask for this. Right. Maybe the second bit of the, of the feedback is do something about protecting the screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, create a mm. screen protect. I don't yeah. know. Uh, in the R&D, what you can do if this phone drops accidentally, mm -hmm. which mm. it will do as we've seen, what can we do to, to make sure that it. you know we protected it? Okay. So... You got to realize also mm -hmm. on the business perspective is that the more breakages that come in, the more cost goes into Samsung, right? Yeah. So for us to have rolled out this, we have first of all gone ahead to enhance the quality of the of the glass of the of the device, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and in addition to that, there are a lot of screen protectors that we have already loaded in the market that are available to be applied on the phone. Mm -hmm. The fold and the flip and the rest come with already. A screen protector applied on them okay mm -hmm. so as much as we are offering this service we are also trying to as a company we need to manage how much is able to come back in mm. based on the quality of the screen and the protection that is offered on the screen mm. Mm. let's take a break at half past eight this is the situation room the only way to start your day charles kimari director of mobile experience division samsung Electronics East Africa here with us in the studio with the flip Four. and fold. Mm -hmm. We are looking at them. Recently launched into the market and he says the uptick has been fantastic. And the feedback so far from the people who have used it? We get a... We have got good review, especially on the improvements of the device. Mm. It's much more rigorous. Mm. Um, the, the camera clarity is absolutely lifelike uh the 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 experience on the s pen mm. on the fold is amazing mm. our content creators are coming back to us with how agile it is i'm getting trained also by mm. content creators mm. on other things that they can do on the flip how they're able to to give it different angles kind of approach mm. on the same the front screen and how they're able to play with the with the with the placement of the phone at a distance and taking the, the photos. It's it's quite a good feedback on the same. And uh, we're taking notes. We're mm. taking them down. Mm. And these are the areas that we need to keep uh, improving on them and making them much more 
practical. Isn't that user. interesting, though, that the market can actually then come back to you and say, yes. on this technology, which works for us so fantastically, then we can actually come to you and say, look, these are things I would like to do. And then you're saying, all right, even with the flip four and the fall four, that we can even now come back with an improved technology based on what the market is saying, right? Because here you have a, a job group or class that you didn't necessarily have 10 years ago. Right. A career trajectory that really wasn't there. In terms of content creation and what's happening on socials, and they're actually telling you this technology which, which you have designed or developed mm -hmm. and that we are using to our benefits because it's a whole career, it's a whole class that was not there mm. before. That's and true. here they are saying, this is great stuff that you've done here. And we're actually seeing then opportunities for us to even do, you know, a little bit better. Isn't that serving as and great feedback for you as well? I'm telling you, it's, and that's what, that's what Samsung is about. Mm. Samsung is about the consumer feedback and behavior. We draw a lot of improvements, mm. feedback, piled it up on R&D, and R&D comes up with a better version of our ideas mm. on the same. They put it on paper and implement it on the same. And this is what Samsung has been known greatly for, transcending to the lives of people. Mm. When we look at the extent to which um, we are getting uh, a movement towards the daily life of people is look at the fold and the flip we have the gear for the watch watch 5 pro mm -hmm. that we've launched together with this device what was it about it's about improving how the lifestyle is about your health check just telling you everything about yourself mm -hmm. on the same and the watch 5 pro has proven to be quite something we 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 threw it out to one of our guys uh, who does climbs the mountain uh, just to tell us how precise it is, how the precision is. Mm. And we are getting really good feedback. Mm -hmm. The accuracy levels are very good. Mm. And the, 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 the speed at which it, it's syncing with the phone and giving you good analysis of how fast you need to run, how, how slow you need to, to slow it down or... It's quite amazing, mm. the feedback on the mm. same. Mm. And this is what we call, this is creating an experience, a lifestyle experience and a life experience within the devices and the ecosystem mm. of the same. Let's look at the entire range of uh, smartphones that you have, right? Mm. And looking at the market and how the market has been changing. So we moved from just the feature phones with no ringtone to polyphonic ringtones to smartphones um, to now, which... It, it, it becomes more than just a phone. Right. If you look at all the phones that you're producing, one of the things that I noticed with Samsung is you talk about a camera and then you talk about the agility of the phone itself. Why is a camera so important? Why do you spend so much money and effort in research and development for camera? That's a good question. And the true answer to that is a camera is about memories. It's a very emotional part of somebody mm. on the same. You remember those days when we had uh, the long cameras that when we were kids and you, that guy used to pass around the streets mm. carrying it around his neck and then <laughs> would all hope that mom would call this guy in to take this photo. Yes. Yep. And then wait for three weeks. And then we wait for three weeks <laughs> to see whether it came out properly or we need to retake it again and wait another three weeks. Yeah. The experience this time round is the better the camera, the more the experience of the consumer. Mm. They trust what they can take. They feel comfortable with adjusting the levels to which they want the camera to. Mm. Some people are private, some people mm. are public. Mm. You can be able to do that at your own discretion. It gives you vivid clarity and all that you want to do on it. You can take it 10 times if you need to. Mm. And it's on the go, it's instant. So everything has moved to the speed of light, to an instant. You can share it in one time. It's fun. Mm. It's, it's your plaything for the same. Mm. So it's all these piled up into one. So the camera is so important that every time a device is released, the version has to be improved. Yep. And Samsung, proud to say, we have the best camera in the market mm. of any device. Mm. And Undisputed. Mm. Content creators have given us feedback. Media has given us feedback. With this device, you can actually go to the field, 
take your videos in 8K or 4K, so if you may choose, mm. there's a function to choose 4K or 8K, file a report and send it to the studio. Mm. And they'll work on it from there. That's how powerful mm. most Samsung devices are, and especially on the camera. Mm. Correct. Then the other thing would be, you know, camera is one issue that is very big with every phone, everybody who's going to buy. Mm -hmm. The others are two, storage and battery. Mm -hmm. Why, why can't I store, you know, with one camera, why can't I store one terabyte of data on the phone? Why can't my battery last two weeks? Right. Okay. Um, battery technology is one of the biggest innovations that if you have a crack the technology to make the battery to be the size of a page as slim as a page mm -hmm. i think you'll you you'll bid for you buy spice of <laughs> from, from your pocket <laughs> your because that's that's what makes devices bigger mm. it's the size of the battery it's the size of the battery is what makes them bigger. Samsung has managed to every time keep improving on the technology to make the devices smaller and smaller. Mm. The, the, the amount of power kept in the phone depends again on the size of a battery. If you have good technology, the battery remains small and your phone lasts longer on the same. Mm. So um, as time moves on, there's continuous improvement on this technology. Yeah. But there's one thing that Samsung did some four years ago some three years ago, when we, got the, when we launched the A-series, we had done extensive research in the market and Samsung had kind of a negative reputation on the battery. Mm. That was three years ago. And Samsung R&D and headquarters said, we will bring down all the f almost all the flagship features to the entry level. Right now, as we speak, the battery size of our entry level devices on the A-series it's quite robust. Mm. You can go with it for two days straight. We've brought it all the way down the amperes. The camera has been upgraded all the way from the mid tire to the entry level. Mm. So the camera from the entry level to the mid tire, mm. they're almost similar mm -hmm. on the same. So, and this was an act of consumer feedback and consumer behavior towards our devices. Mm. And this enabled us to almost wipe out the, the obstacles that we are having on the way with the consumer feedback, negative feedback on the same. Yeah. Correct. I mean, even as you say this, and then talking about the experience, even as, you know, folks listen and say, you know, I want to, and this is interesting because it's gone from, I want to buy a phone to, I want to have an experience, you know, with right. this device. And so the cost element also, I mean, we can't ignore that the cost element comes into play, but I hear from what you're saying that and then there's, you know, just from looking at the camera alone, which creates these experiences for people, that there's an opportunity for you to have the experience, mm -hmm. you know, no matter the cost, you can also be part of this because you're looking at, you know, devices across the range for which the experience is just as good across the range. And, and, and what you're saying is, is absolutely correct because we are made for, we've passed the stage of calls and messages and texts and We've passed that stage. Mm -hmm. It's about enhancing that whole experience. How many emojis are you going to throw in on a device? Mm -hmm. How many mm -hmm. night shots can your guys take when on, on a camping site yeah. up the mountain? Mm -hmm. You see that sunset and you really want to capture that memory. Yeah. How can you be able to take it with your 8K kind of shot? Mm. This is an experience. Not just carrying a device and putting it in your pocket and saying, I can call. I have this. I have that. Mm. Talk about it. Mm. See what it can do. How does it support your life? I think there's the other side of knowledge, right? right? So Samsung uh, has very good cameras, like you said. You claim to be the market leader in terms of camera and camera technology. But then the user does not know how mm. to use this camera. How if I take a photo with this phone, I take a photo with the other phone, they may just come out the same mm -hmm. because Eric doesn't really know about lighting and all those things. Mm -hmm. Do you have any kind of training that you can offer? Mm -hmm. Just entry level training where you can go in and get material. If you want to get a good picture of a sunset, 
this is how you can set up your camera this is how you can set up your phone how you can hold it these are the features that you can use is there such kind of training that's available no we don't have the training mm. but they we got this feedback and um early this year and we have deliberately taken steps towards it how well do consumers understand and know our camera do they know how to use it mm. do they know the plus point how to set it to the next level and uh i'm glad to say ivy our product head at the office mm. has been able to craft something that which will collaborate with content creators and renowned photographers to actually bring out what is this that you can do with samsung camera mm. and this is very important and i take feedback from your end that yes we have this technology out there but we may not have really communicated deeply with the consumer how to essentially use it mm. to the depth and that's why we've taken these uh, steps to try and have actually have this program running whereby we have an experience running out in the market mm. with consumers being able to see oh this is how you take this shot mm. this is how you take a sunset shot mm. this is how you go for the night shot and this is how you go for a daylight shot Knowing you, Charles, um, you are currently Director of Mobile Experience Division at Samsung Electronics East mm -hmm. Africa. I can say that you're an expert on the mobile electronics market in the region. You understand this market, you understand the region, you understand uh, what's going on, right? Now speak to somebody who is just a consumer who's listening this, today. They've been thinking they want to buy a new phone and they, have, they are bombarded by all the adverts from Samsung and the others in the market. What is it that I should look out for when I'm buying a phone? Apart from this one is costing 4,000 shillings more than the other one. Mm. And therefore it looks like, you know, I'm um, as 4,000 shillings social class above. Mm -hmm. What else should I be looking out for when I'm buying a phone? Okay. A consumer should look at every phone can call. Basically that's why it's a mobile device. Yeah context okay yep you should go beyond the call of these two things the experience of the device one what is the after sale service of this device what is the after sale service and mm -hmm. by this i mean what's the warranty period mm -hmm. and apart from the warranty period everybody will tell you they have a warranty samsung gives a 24 month warranty period that's two years it's two years but we go a step further and say We'll give you one free screen repair for any accidental damage. Mm. Within the first year. Within the first year. Mm. Number two, you ask yourself, what more can I do with the device that I'm buying that pertains to my lifestyle? Look at your lifestyle mm. okay. and look at the device that you're buying. How will it enhance your lifestyle? We have seen a lot of content creators going for the flip in a very aggressive way. Mm. It complements their lifestyle. Mm. It complements the operations. We have seen um, other consumers in a certain lifestyle. They're in the sporting world. They're able to pair the ecosystem of Samsung. Mm. That is the gear, mm -hmm. the Galaxy Watch, okay. and the phone, and the earbuds. So when you're driving, if you're a long-distance driver or a guy wants to run or exercise or do something with still listening to your music or receiving your call you can still multitask with that particular kind of device mm -hmm. what's the flexibility of that particular device if you're looking for a high-end premium device that is a workhorse that is agile that is a multitasking product mm. what would it be mm. absolutely the fold so there are very myriad things that the consumer needs to look at to be able to do that and in addition to that, for this part of the, from Monday, we are throwing a fantastic campaign mm. through with the fold. I, I don't know whether, I think Ivy will just bust me when I get back to the office for, <laughs> for, leaking. for leaking it out too early. <laughs> yeah. We're going out with the famous BTS is back, blue, blue tag sales. Mm. Mm. Normally touch it to Samsung. I'm announcing it here for the first time mm. on the same. And uh, 
we have a number of fantastic offers mm. from entry level to the flagship devices. Yeah. But the, one of the best is the Fold. We will pair it up with the Watch 5 Pro. Mm. And it will mm. come as a bundle, mm. as one, as a package offering on the same. Yeah. The price is fantastic. I'll not go to that level for now. Uh, but go out there and get the device plus the, the Watch Pro. Mm. The Flip will be coming with the buds. We are giving you the latest buds on the same. So the pairing is absolutely fantastic. So we'd like to keep the trends running mm -hmm. on the same. And uh, this is what we are made of. Mm. This is what we do. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, just looking at uh, then em uh, the embracing of technology, you know, then the question is, I mean, we, we are here um, with all of this. It's cutting edge. That's for sure. Um, the promise of what folks can look forward to that say, you know, it's not it doesn't just stop here with this, that there's always something with Samsung that, you know, people can look forward to or then what is the what is the assurance that you continue to give the market even as you bring out these not necessarily okay so give us something else tomorrow mm -hmm. but then what can they be sure of uh, in terms of the assurance of, of of technology the latest cutting edge all the time um one thing i can assure is that samsung has over 200,000 hardcore r and d mm -hmm. team in mm -hmm. hq mm -hmm. That's not a small feat. We have the largest hundred thousand wow. over two hundred k people mm. in research, research mm. and development. Mm. Wow, one of the largest globally. Mm. It's it's not. It's not child's play mm -mm. when we say we are collecting feedback and sending it back to HQ for it to with guide and direction on what our consumers are saying they mm. want. Yeah, we can guarantee our consumer that we shall continue to listen to them. We shall continue to be in the field with them. We want to bring the cutting edge technology that enables them to make everything seamless. What's the next one? Maybe voice technology. Mm -hmm. Can you instruct your phone in a seamless way? There's voice technology. Yeah. Voice technology is there. Mm. But has it been enhanced to full capacity? Mm. No, it has not. So how much of that can be brought forth? So it's a lot of things. How, how much more can the watch be improved, the Pro, mm. like our Galaxy watch? Mm. How much more can we continue improving on it? Already we have tracked on the, high, on the athletic part, mountain climbing and the golfing uh, part whereby it's used very well to get the distance and all. But how much more can we enhance it on the health aspects of the same? Mm. So it is how much more technology can you add on to it to keep improving technology. Mm. Technology is about continuous improvement on the same. Mm. Correct. The market in Kenya and East Africa has obviously been changing over time, mm. right? And um, now we know that we have more smartphones in the market than feature phones. That's true, right? Mm -hmm. And so, so we have all moved from feature into any new device being bought is most likely going to be a smartphone. Right. What do you see as a future? Um, because, you know, when you talk about smartphones, if, you, if the lowest that you have for you, for example, is a 9,000 of one. Right. Is, are, are we getting to a point where is it meeting, is it matching the market and the market ability to purchase phones? Or by going smart, smart, smart and improving on technology also getting more and more expensive? Okay. Let me put, let me put it in a, in a much uh, simpler way. A technology, new technology is always very expensive. Mm -hmm. As it takes time, it keeps reducing co because uh, costs have been recouped and uh, the market and the base has been enhanced in terms of selling. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, Samsung is not having a, 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 a sub, a sub 9,000 shillings device in the market because of maintaining certain standards that we have to keep. Mm -hmm. We may not be able to go below a certain price value on the same, even on, our, on that particular entry level device. But there's one thing that we absolutely confirm and guarantee mm. that that product is fully certified mm -hmm. in terms of quality and standards. But hey, that's that. That's our problem as Samsung, yeah. that this product is this high. So what have we gone to an extent to do? We partner strongly with affordability. We try to create affordability of devices. 
So we partner strongly and create strong propositions to the market. There's M Copper, mm -hmm. who is our partner, there's Sun King, there's Delight that are selling products on installments, machine learning in very remote areas mm -hmm. of this market and some uh, key towns, and they sell on installments. Mm -hmm. Samsung has a Knox proprietary software mm. that allows them to sell the product on installments. Th there are customers who are buying these devices and paying 30 shillings or 20 shillings a day. Mm. Mm. But they're given the device and go with it. Mm. But they just pay 20 shillings a day only to affordability. Yeah. And this is key because we know um, aspiration is the main part of the product. Mm. If I can get this product and pay 20 shillings a day, mm. if the Buddha guy will pay this much, yeah. then becomes affordable banks we're talking to them yes yeah. they're offering uh, credit free mm. on the same interest free on some products we are doing trading trading is one of our newest uh, featured product uh, product proposition that mm. we are using in the market mm. and we are giving 25,000 shillings for for the fold as additional value on trading for hey. us. okay this conversation we can have for like a whole day. Uh -huh. But come back even after next week after you uh, have this market storm. Come back. Let's keep talking more about the technological advancements than everything else that Samsung is doing. Mm -hmm. Charles Kimari, Director, Mobile Experience Division, Samsung Electronics East Africa, is, has been our guest this hour. Keep it here for more conversations.